Swimming in controversy. Tonight, we're continuing our coverage after members of the Roanoke College women's swim team spoke out on the school's decision that could have them competing alongside transgender students. Now, this after one transgender athlete made a bid for the team at the start of the semester. Now, that request has since been dropped. WFXR's Amari Williams picks up our team coverage of this story with more on how the community is reacting. Fairness and equality. That's what student athletes and women rights activists say they were prioritizing with today's event, calling attention to what they say were efforts to intimidate and silence them. My feelings, our team's feelings and comfort were blatantly ignored and only one athlete was prioritized. I felt unheard and unseen. Our comfort was undervalued and discarded. Captains of the Roanoke College's swim team, as well as former athletes and other organizations in attendance, say this whole thing is about protecting the rights of women in sports. Fairness in sport includes opportunities for women and girls to participate in sports and physical education on a single sex basis. Young women must know that they can have a safe, fair and equal playing field. They must know that their dreams and hard work are not dismissible simply because they are girls. They're calling for change on multiple levels, both within the NCAA and Virginia, but they weren't the only ones with opinions on the matter. And some members of the Roanoke College student body and Roanoke community had different opinions. I don't personally don't see a problem. I don't play sports. I used to, but I don't see a problem with it. If they want to join, why not let them join? Sports is just one of those things that everybody can participate in, no matter the, the gender or sex. Um, it's their right to swim. If they want to swim, they can most definitely swim. And the executive director of one local nonprofit tells WFXR News that equality in sports is definitely an issue, but not in this way. If we really want to have equity and parity in women's sports, we need to be focusing on making sure that their coaches are being paid the same as the men. We need to be focusing on making sure that their training facilities are as good as the men's and not uh, paying attention to this dog whistle that is quite frankly very harmful. Whether polar opposites or somewhere in the middle, there was one thing many people we talked to could agree on, that national guidelines are needed. Without decent guidelines from the NCAA regarding all of their athletic programs, it really is uh, more or less a gray area for a lot of folks. The NCAA should say the buck stops here, establishing NCAA guidelines that no female collegiate athlete will ever have to endure this again. In Roanoke, Imari Williams, WFXR News.